With many comments recently made from directors of previous X-Men films, and of course comments made by actors from many of these films as well, due to the recent 20-year anniversary of the first X-Men film, there's a lot of interesting stuff out there, including why they think the last two X-Men films were complete garbage. So when it came to X-Men, obviously the first and second film really set the course for what we have today with comic book movies. It was the combo of Blade 1 and 2, Spider-Man 1 and 2, and X-Men 1 and 2 that set Marvel on the dominating path it is on today. Of course, Kevin Feige was involved with those early films as an executive producer, and he was looking from the outside trying to make some pieces move about a shared continuity, but the studios just couldn't agree. So eventually he went off, him and Marvel, they formed an independent studio, they were bought by Disney, and now they're the biggest name in entertainment and the biggest film series of all time, including the biggest box office draws of all time. When it came to the X-Men, why exactly did the last two films fail? And if you just read many of the interviews and look at what each actor is saying and what different directors are saying, such as Simon Kimberg and what Josh Boone of New Mutants is saying, you start to understand what exactly happened without them definitively saying what exactly happened. And that's the fact that they could not copy the MCU formula, and that's what their ultimate downfall was. And I 100% agree with what they say. I mean, if you look at the last decade, Universal tried to copy the MCU formula and failed. The DCEU tried it and they've completely abandoned it and they're going in a completely different direction. And of course, Spider-Man, that's, that's a whole different thing I don't even want to get into. X-Men, I can see how they would want to, but they failed twice. And if you just look at what they've been saying about Deadpool, how that one was a success, that one was a success because it didn't try to copy the MCU up until halfway into Deadpool 2, which is why people are like, well, that film's not really as good considering it's just trying to point Iron Man or Batman be Superman by setting up X-Force. And again, the X-Men tried to take on too much too soon and you definitely get the sense that everybody involved with it if you just go look at those interviews and what they're saying were against this idea specifically and if you go back and look at what Matthew Vaughn was saying about how he wanted to treat the X-Men and how he wanted to take his time and build up Apocalypse properly and build up Days of Future Past properly over this like four to five to film film arc that they wouldn't let him do you start to understand that they were in a rush because as far as i was saying you know the downfall of fox was coming back in 2014 because you could just look at their trajectory and their output and you could see that the writing was on the wall and it's interesting that they're sort of like yeah they failed because we couldn't copy the mcu and it's true because the x-men were never meant to be like the mcu that's why people like those original films <laughs> 